Hey, how are you? Inside this hospital in Boston, a quiet revolution is underway. It's not a new drug or a breakthrough procedure. It's artificial intelligence used to fight doctor burnout. Many clinicians feel completely overwhelmed. Nearly half of all physicians are reporting at least one symptom of burnout. And a 2023 survey found that two out of five doctors say they would consider leaving within the next two years. Is it okay if I use the iPad to listen to our visit and help me write my note today? Yeah. All right. Dr. Rebecca Mishuris is the chief medical information officer and primary care doctor at Mass General Brigham and an early adopter of a new artificial intelligence tool designed not to replace doctors, but to help them stay in the job. In medicine, there's a phrase, pajama time, right? Time we spend outside of the clinic at our, at our home, yeah. um, doing things like charts and notes. How much has that changed as a result of this product? So for me personally, I have no more pajama time. None. Know, none, none. My notes are done when I walk out of clinic at this point. The technology is called ambient documentation. It listens during the visit, transcribes a conversation, and drafts a summary note. How can technology actually work to, to fight burnout? And the magic of this is that it happens in almost real time. It's recorded, and literally within 20 or 30 seconds, the draft note appears for the clinician. Until now, right, really hasn't been a clear intervention that can dramatically reduce burnout. And now these AI scribes are becoming more common across the nation, from doctors in California to Georgia to here in Boston all saving countless hours for doctors at the brink. And they're seeing staggering results. In new data just published today, the AI scribes were linked with a 21% reduction in burnout at Mass General Brigham. Do you find like it's, it's brought you back to the reason you wanted to be a doctor in the first place? It really has. I have joy back in caring for my patients because I can just sit and listen to them and work with them to figure out what is going on and what we should do next. Patients like Sharon Hinton don't mind an extra presence in the room, even if it's a computer. I had more control over what was actually going into the record, and she let me see it. It was cool. Did you ever think that you would have artificial intelligence inside the doctor's office? With you? Not really, but kind of, because I'm from the generation. We had the Jetsons and robots and Star Trek. So we kind of were the generation that dreamed that it might happen someday. For doctors and patients alike, it's helping medicine feel a little more human again. Dr. Akshay Sayal, NBC News, Boston. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.